Okay, Tom here with another video tutorial. Today we are going to add a contact form to a WordPress website. We're going to use a plugin called Contact Form 7. It's very easy to use. It doesn't have a whole lot of features, but it does the job and it does it well. And we're going to add a contact form to this page here. I've got kind of a placeholder already. We're going to put a contact form right here and the contact form is going to look like this one over here on my techiediy.com website. It's going to look like this. Uh, we're going to be asking for a name, a phone number, an email address, and we've got a text box here uh, for questions and comments. And when people click send on this site, uh, this information gets routed to my mailbox. So we're going to duplicate that feature over here on this website and pop a contact form right there. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our WordPress administrator. Now I've already installed the plugin. This tutorial isn't about how to install plugins. I already went ahead and installed it. Here it is right here, contact form 7. So to get started with our new form, we just simply click on settings in our plugins and here is the setup for our new form. So let's run through this quickly. Uh, first of all down here, we're going to ignore this, this top for a second. Uh, we've already got a form kind of pre-set up for us that we could just use right out of the box if we wanted to. Uh, in this case, um, I'm not going to need this field right here, subject. Uh, I'm going to change that to phone, but everything else looks like uh, it's going to be pretty useful. Uh, we're going to make some changes to this uh, in a second. Now you might recognize, those of you who know HTML, that there are some uh, HTML tags in here. And you may not recognize these tags and brackets, and that is the shorthand for the contact form code. And I don't have the syntax memorized, so what Contact Form 7 has done is they have this Generate Tag section over here on the right. So probably the best way for me to explain it is just to, to go ahead and make a new one. Uh, as I said before, uh, I'm not going to be using this uh, subject field. I need one to collect a phone number, so I'm going to create a new text field and I've got some options here. Uh, required? No. Um, the name, so I'll just give it something a little bit more meaningful. You can define the size. I don't really think I need to do that. We'll see after I display it. We can make adjustments afterwards. Um, so basically I'm not going to use these other options and so I'm done for the most part. Now down here it says copy this code and paste it into the form on the left. So instead of having to memorize this uh, contact form 7 syntax, I used this generate tag to write it for me. And then what I can go ahead and do is just replace this tag with the new one and I'll change this label here because that's this is what's going to show up on the web page. I'll change it to phone. Okay. Now let's continue down. Now here are the settings for routing any email messages that come through the form. So here under mail where it says to, uh, this would be the email address you want the message to get sent to. So for now I'm going to put my techiediy at gmail.com email address and, and the from field it's using the fields from the actual form to populate the from field in the message. If we look at this closer, uh, the message is going to be sent from your name if we go up here. So whatever's filled in under your name, the your name field in our form is going to be populated in the from in the email. Now subject I'm not using. If you remember I replaced it with phone so what I'll do here is I'll just simply delete it and I'll just replace it with something else. Okay. 
Now there's some other options here. Over here on the right where it says message body, you can customize what the message looks like. Um, I'll probably just get rid of some of this junk. And the message body is going to basically contain whatever somebody types in the your message field over here. What's missing is the phone, which I'm going to need, and the email I'll have because the email will come through the email message and the from information. So I need to add the phone. So I'll just copy this here. And I'll create a label. And under it, I'll put phone. So my message is going to contain the phone number and the message from the visitor. And if we go down here, there are additional options. Um, you can customize messages. So I'll show you what those look like in a moment. Um, if there's a problem, there's uh, error messages that can be customized. For the most part, I rarely change any of this when I set up new forms. Um, the default text is good enough. So at this point, uh, I'm happy with our first cut of the form. I'm going to click Save. Now, to place our form on the web page so that it shows up down here, all I need to do is to copy this text right here. In fact, it says right here, copy this code and paste it into your post page or text widget. That's a good point. You can also paste this code into a sidebar widget and have your contact form on the side instead of in the body like I'm going to do. So let me go over to pages and find the publish page and here it is. And all I need to do is paste that tag where I want the form to go. Click update page. Let's take a look at the site. Refresh. There we go. Perfect. So now I want to make a, a, a couple of changes. Another thing you can do is if you want, depending on the size of your web page, you have the option of making these field sizes more narrow or you can make them wider, whatever your, your preference is. For now, what I wanted to do, let's go back to plugins and contact form 7 and settings. What I want to do is add some spam filtering to my form. Contact Form 7 has a couple of built-in tools. Uh, one is using the Akismet spam filtering database to help block spammers from using the form. I wouldn't say that it's foolproof, but it's better than nothing. If you find you're getting a lot of spam through your contact form, you can employ CAPTCHA technology. That's the little picture of numbers and letters you see on different websites. Personally, I find them very annoying and I wouldn't use CAPTCHA unless spam was becoming a really big problem on my website. Uh, even then, what I would probably do is if spam was a big problem using Contact Form 7, if the Akismet wasn't helping that much, I would probably find a more sophisticated contact form. But Contact Form 7, I like it. It's it's very easy. It just takes minutes. As you see, it just took me a few minutes to get this set up. And in a lot of cases, for some websites that are low traffic, uh, the Akismet is just enough. I don't need to go down the path of using the CAPTCHA. But it is an option. Uh, it does require, I think, an additional uh, download, which is not a big deal.